So I've been having trouble with the built-in Wi-Fi of my ThinkPad X230. The whole laptop is a absolute beast, but when it comes to the built-in Wi-Fi chip, not so great for long-term use. I take it down to the coffee shop, it's good to go. I take it out to the park, it's good to go. At home, when I'm moving gigabytes of files back and forth on my local network, it gets overheated and slows down. So two things you need to look out for with Wi-Fi is signal strength and overheating. People often forget that second one. Your Wi-Fi chip is gonna get hot. And that even counts for these Wi-Fi USB dongles. They can also get hot. Heat is the enemy of efficiency when it comes to computers. So a solution I came up with is getting this little adapter here that has the Rawlink 8812AU. This is an AC GBN EIEIO adapter. It has open source drivers, though you have to compile them yourself which is not as hard as it sounds. You can pick these up for really cheap. I got this one, not so much because of the brand, but because I needed something a bit larger for better heat displacement. Having the antennas on this one did not hurt. To show you how I compiled things, set it up, and how I got reliable Wi-Fi, even though I live in the city where there's a lot of devices and a lot of congestion. Let's dive in. So to actually get the driver, which here is the repository I use. There's other builds out there, but this one I've had the best luck with. This is actually one of the older drivers and it works really good. They even have a guide of how to set up for your Raspberry Pi, which is super important. Side note for those Debian users, if you're running Debian, you can look at the Raspberry Pi source because Debian is the foundation for Raspbian, the most popular Raspberry Pi distribution. You just kind of follow the steps, go down the line. It really is kind of like step one, step two, just go through the process. They do a good job setting it up for you. Again, very simple to do. Something probably more important than a lot of people think about is placement. So I have my computer set up down here and up high, this is about head height. And part of the reason is because if we go through my house, you'll see that my wireless device is in here. That's a lot of range to go through. It has to go all the way through that bathroom, which is not an easy task. So make sure you are up high enough on both. I mean, that's, that's about waist height, which is better than nothing. But the other one, this one is all the way over here around head height. And I find, because especially I'm against the wall here and I kind of have this L shape going on, that seems to give me the most reliable connection. So hopefully this will ease some of your network congestion in areas where you can't really have a wired internet. Of course, if you can go wired, always go wired. There's something magical about that, that little ethernet cable bringing you gigabits of data instantaneously. But if you can't, this is a damn good option for any device. I mean, this thing, this thing's marketed as being the best wireless for your Raspberry Pi. And because you can compile the software yourself, it definitely will excel there. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.